Hi guys, it's Paul Pluter at the Paul Pluter channel. Today guys, we're doing paid reviews. This is paid review 20JU33. 20JU33. Quick, 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 whisper, let's check. I'm wearing a Patek Philippe 6006 because I got all the other Paddocks in the bank safe. That's correct. So I'm wearing the 6006. Okay guys. This is for Farron. Let's go there. Dear Archie, I'm a big fan of your channel. Wanted to start by saying thank you for the inform for your informative videos. I've learned a lot from your channel. I'm 35 years old and live in England. I want to purchase a Rolex that I can keep for the rest of my life. One that will suit any occasion and when the time comes it can be passed down to my son. Preferably no date. I have small wrists so 36 mil would be perfect for me but I know... How you feel about smaller watches? I'm not too keen on the Explorer. My budget is 5500 But I would like to spend less if possible. The models that have caught my eye are the Oyster Perpetual Reference 116000, Oyster Perpetual Reference 114300, and Datejust Reference 126200. Please let me know what you think about my selection and if there's any other watches you would recommend. Check my PayPal donations come through. Looking forward to hearing from you. Keep the videos coming. Also, please don't use my name. Well, that was a bit late now, but how many Farrens are there in England? Okie dokie. So let's have a talk about this. I love this sort of email. He's asking me for advice. And... It's, uh, yeah, what can I say there? Um, what can I say indeed? What can I say? Uh, very, very interesting sort of question here. This guy here is obviously a little bit on the confused side. Actually, guys, that was an old review he sent in. That was one from last year. This year's one, which uh, this is the one I'm actually doing for him. He says, uh, Dear Archie, hope you're well and staying safe during this pandemic. Love the show. I've learned so much. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, the information is delivered in an in-depth and entertaining way. One of the few channels that actually gives you an honest and unbiased review. When it comes to watches, save me from buying shitters. Bit of background, I'm in my late 30s, engaged, have a good job, homeowner, drive a BMW 3 Series and live in London. Life is dandy. I've sold all of my watches. Uh, to be honest, they were all crappy fashion watches. I'm looking for a one and done. Uh, one that would suit any occasion. Here's a list of watches that I like the most. I've also he's provided a few pictures. Apologies for the long list. Just speak on the ones that are relevant. Um, please let me know which watch you would choose if you were in my position. Unfortunately, I don't have Patek or Lange money. I've transferred 65 bucks. Thank you. PT. Okay. Okay. So let's have a look at this list here. Now, i got to be honest with you. The one and done. The one and done. You know, i got to be... Um, realistic when I say this you know I love Patek Philippe but that's not really a one and done watch that's kind of a high-end fashion watch you know it's something to go out the dinner suit the you know if you're going to be a one and done man I think you there's only one brand you can go to and that is Rolex 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 why do I say that why 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 and it's because Rolex is waterproof. See, Rolex has a screw-in crown, a very nice trip-lock system. Uh, and and i got to be, be frank with you. Most problems with wristwatches that occur, occur because of the fact that most people who, uh, who have them don't understand some basics with the wristwatches. 
See, you wash your hands. You go to the toilet, you wash your hands. Well, there's always a chance you get water in. Now, they've normally got seals, but they're not really waterproof. So many ladies go and buy Cartier watches and then come back 10 years later with wonder why they've got damage. And it's because they're not waterproof. They're a fashion watch. So they're, they're, they're a dress watch. They're not something you can you can really take a <clears throat> a bath in or something so seriously my honest advice to anyone who says they want a one and done one and done my, my first statement is unless you're extremely careful get a rolex because rolex is the waterproofing king could you get an omega could you get a planet ocean well you probably could but Let's be honest there, okay? As a general type of balance in the collecting saga, if you want to be a one and done, Rolex is kind of like a Mercedes Benz C or E class. It's non confrontational. It's not the cheapest option, but it's very safe, very respected. Your money's going to be relatively safe compared to other brands. And the other thing is, of course, is that. You guessed it, you guessed it, waterproof, waterproof, waterproof. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> anyone who says to me they want a one and done, be done with it. I always say you've got to look at your Rolexes, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. So, this guy here, he asked me about this in the last year. And I don't think he was really listening, but let's let's have a look here. Um, seriously, so his list, he's got a Jager La Coltra Master Control Date. Absolutely fantastic watch. Good bang per buck. Not much. The resale is a little bit shaky. Great watch. Not waterproof. Next was Jager La Coltra Control Small Seconds. Again, it's just part of the, the Master Control series. Not waterproof. Jager La Coltra Reverso Classic Small Seconds. Great watch. Again, waterproofing. Uh, he's gone on to a JLC Tribute Mono Seconds. He's got JLC Ultra Thin Rose. Okay, then he's gone into some Rolexes here. Rolex Oyster Perpetual Black Dial 39. Oyster Perpetual White Dial 39. Oyster Perpetual Blue 369. Oyster Rolex Datejust Blue 36. Rolex Datejust. Now he's got all these things here. I gotta be completely frank with you. You're really confusing the mix, man. He's just confusing the mix. He's not really sure which way to go. My general advice would be any steel Rolex, preferably sports. Why do I say sports? Because sports retains value better. However, let's be honest here. He said he's got smaller wrists and he, and he wants a one and done. You know what I think I would get? See, I don't hate the... Datejust, I think it's a great watch. Um, the Oyster Perpetuals, I gotta tell you, I think there's a charm to have a watch that doesn't have a date apparatus. I would probably say, you know, he wants something to hand down an heirloom piece. Well, let's be honest there, okay? Let, let us look at the current, the size debate. Do you need bigger? Well, the truth is, he wants to hand it down. I reckon... I'd be looking at a 39 mil. That is the modern sizes, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't invent these rules. This is the way it's gone. I don't think 36 will ever really be a men's watch. So if you want to make something as a good heirloom to pass on, I'd get a 39 mil. You really want to go 37 mils plus, okay? That's kind of the, the line in the sand. So for yourself there, what would I get? I honestly think an Oyster Perpetual. Now, you're asking me, Oyster Perpetual, Black Dial, White Dial, Blue Dial? I don't think it really matters. Um, they're all pretty damn cool. I actually like the Oyster Perpetuals. Personally, I would go for a Air King, a Milgauss, or a Explorer One. Now, this guy here doesn't seem to grasp the concept that uh, my advice is, is the Pontiff's advice. He does doesn't grasp the concept so i gotta be totally honest with this guy here man you want to get rolex steel preferably sports but I, I okay we can see we're not going to win that argument it's your money i can't tell another man what to buy okay 
I can't tell another man how to spend his money. He'll do it himself. He doesn't, he's not going to, he doesn't listen to the wife. He's not going to listen to me. Now, let, let's look at this. Oyster Perpetuals, I think you're overanalyzing. White dial, black dial, blue. It, it doesn't really make any damn difference. Uh, I, I believe in a bit of fate. I'm a bit of a fatalist in the sense that years ago I ordered a Rolex from my... I had a client. I was in the computer business. I said, get me the Rolex, cheapest Rolex you can. He had a little jewelry store. He was part of a bigger chain that one of the guys in the chain was a Rolex dealer. This was 30 years ago. And I got a 1016 Explorer 1. Would I have chosen it? No. But it turned out to be just such a cool watch. It was me. And I think too many people, they analyze this crap and say, blue dial, black dial, white dial, oh, 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 just go with the flow, man. There isn't really any bad choices besides that stupid grape dial um, that, that I, I could really say there. I mean, <laughs> I'm having a go for Simon Crane. That's what I said that for. No, look, any Oyster Perpetual is a great watch. That's a great watch. Steel, really nice watch. You can just wear it one and done for life so don't don't look at all these questions white dial black dial da 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 da, da. you know what i'd do i'd personally i'd be going to a gray market dealer and trying to get a bit of a deal that's what i would do because they're not really that collectible they're not really that special they're they're, they're a nice watch but they're nothing that brilliant or fantastic but that is exactly what, how I would be steering the conversation. I, I would definitely be steering it that way. I, I would be saying, look, uh, which one's got a deal? Any of those Oyster Perpetuals, Oyster Perpetual means it doesn't have a date. They're great. The date just, uh, they're also great. I'd probably say the Oyster Perpetual is a little bit cleaner. I like the fact it doesn't have a date. Uh, it's just got a nice aesthetic hum to it, and I, 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 I've enjoyed that as I've kind of aged. So, look, i got to tell you the truth there, man. You're analysing it too much. Just a nice Oyster Perpetual, one and done. Beautiful. Now, if I were you, you're engaged, I would be saying, you know, why don't you get your wife one as well there? That would be a very good thing. She would appreciate it. You're gonna have. You're gonna be a nice yuppie couple. We all love the yuppies. So, I kind of would say just do that. Steel oyster perpetual can't go wrong. White, black, blue. Hey, doesn't really matter. Just stay away from that stupid grape color. And I think you're done. That's it, man. That's it. Don't overanalyze it. Too many of us overanalyze everything. We make things complicated, which don't need to be complicated. So. There you go. That is the, the Pontiff's advice. Waterproof. Go Rolex. Go waterproof. You'll enjoy it. You'll come back years later and thank me. I'm Paul Pluto. This was a paid review for Farron. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. And don't be afraid to put a few little comments down below there. Positive, negative, whatever. Guys, paid reviews keep me full time. I can't survive on the Google Ads. I need these paid reviews to really kick butt. So if you haven't done a paid review, it's 50 US dollars. I'll tell you what I think of your collection, your watches. And guys, it's all good advice because who else can give you honest advice immediately? Uh, so there we go. Guys, Paul Pluta signing out. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, new sponsor on the channel, App Stanchi 8. Help get the most of your engineering and DevOps with AppStantiate. AppStantiate provides on-demand DevOps infrastructure, test automation, and continuous integration as a service with a focus on mentoring and hiring assistance to help engineering teams scale. They are experts in Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and the latest open source utilities to help your company save time and money. Cost reduction in your hosting bills alone will pay for itself. In addition, the team is 100% onshore, New York City-based senior engineers. Abstantiate will help you get most productivity out of your current stack and or employee headcount. Email hello at abstantiate.com. Please email now hello at abstantiate.com dot com for more information.
Archie Luxury, proudly supporting fantastic businesses. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Archie Luxury Corporate live streaming channel to be updated on all the live shows I do. Live shows! Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW.